When it comes to web design, the common statements that I hear are, I feel overwhelmed, I don't know where to start, or why are my websites not looking professional? Now, the main reason to this, in my opinion, is there's a lot of tutorials out there on YouTube, so many articles written, but these tutorials and these articles show you where to click to achieve a certain result. Now, when it comes to tackling a proper project, you'll find that you don't know where to start because you don't have a proper structure to follow in order for you to design these websites. And to be honest, I've produced some of those videos thinking that this was the, the, the right way forward. But the more I start seeing uh, these emails being sent to me and all these questions in the live streams that I normally do, the more I realize that, well, you know what? People can see where you are clicking, but they don't know why you are clicking why you're choosing that size, why you're using EMs versus pixels versus um, VH, or even why you're using certain colors for certain projects, or why do you use this size uh, um, to separate your images, or even uh, why you use a certain type of font for these designs. So the more I thought about this, I decided, you know what, maybe it'll be a good idea to create a course that puts all this information together in a structure that teaches you how to tackle a web design project from start to end. So it doesn't matter what project it is, the process is still the same. So when it comes to actually um, getting the design brief, which is uh, basically the information that you need from the client to tackle a web design project, most people tend to want to go into the project and start designing right away. And this is a major problem because you'll find that your website won't be consistent because you'll be going all over the place. Unless, of course, you are an experienced designer. But for majority of people who want to learn how to design websites, that is the wrong way or the wrong approach you need to go through. So I'm just going to cover a few things here that can help you uh, get started with design designing these websites. So first of all, you need to gather enough information about the actual project and then you need you need to uh, sit back and actually go through some uh, websites for inspiration there's a website that i normally go to it's called behance.net it's very very good it has uh, quite a lot of uh, design projects in there that you can take a look for inspiration purposes and when you come across something that you may like this is where you can pretty much you know uh, take a screenshot add it to your mood board and this is where you start looking at how you can start structuring your website the the other thing that you also may need to do is to gather all the information that you need for the website before you actually start designing the website now this is very important because if you add your information as you go or or at a later stage it may mess up your structure of the website for example let's say you have uh, a part of your website which needs, uh, let's say, 400 words, and uh, you design it, design it with that in mind. And later on, the client says, oh, you know what? Uh, that part of the website now needs 800 words. That's going to dramatically change how the structure of your website is going to look. So make sure you have all the um, information that you need for designing that website before you actually start the actual project. Now, the other thing that I also want to talk about here, which is very, very important, is when it comes to using a, a page builder, at first it may seem very overwhelming. And uh, it doesn't mean that uh, it's a bad thing necessarily. It just means that all these features that we, uh, that we <laughs> customers want to see has to be packed into a page builder one way or another. And this, uh, this problem is not unique to... Um, maybe DV alone or Elementor or Breezy. Uh, it's a problem that, uh, I mean, goes through across even different types of um, software. Like, for example, if you open Photoshop, Photoshop has a ton of features and sometimes it may be overwhelming where to start. So when it comes to uh, DV itself, you need to understand how DV works, the structure of DV and how to execute each uh, web design project. So what I've done is I've put together a course called the Web Design Formula. So the Web Design Formula pretty much is a course for non-coders, uh, both um, beginners and intermediate designers. And uh, the plan of this course as well is to add in advanced stuff. So it's an evolving course, which will be um, uh, growing as time goes as well, as we increase um uh, our knowledge on how to design websites and also as new features are being added on. So the, the inspiration behind this uh, course is I wanted to give 
anyone out there that wants to design website a structure to follow when you design website. And I've based this course on DV 4.0, which is the theme builder. And also, I show you how to use the theme builder and in my framework that I've designed, uh, that, that I've devised, which shows you where to start when you're designing a website. So in my case, I start with the header template, the footer template, the, the blog template, the 404 template, and so on. So once you design all these uh, all these things, that's where you can actually go into uh, adding all the content onto your website. And you'll realize that this is a fantastic way of building websites. So what I've also um, thought about was, okay, so what about... Uh, those people that bought my initial course, DV Blueprint 3, uh, what happens to those? So what I've decided to do is if you've bought that course from me, uh, I'm going to give you this upgrade absolutely free. So if you've taken my first course, DV Blueprint 3, you're also going to get the web design formula absolutely free. The second thing is, uh, let's say, okay, you you haven't bought the course from me before, but you really want to learn how to design websites. My second offer is if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, you also get this course absolutely free. So it's a win-win situation. You buy Divi using my affiliate link and you still get your, um, your theme builder. And then to learn how to use the theme builder, you know, I will be providing that course for you. All you have to do is to drop me an email uh, on funnels to income.com on the bottom right, send me a message and uh, with the proof of uh, purchasing through my affiliate link and I will give you access to that course. So the other offer, and this is the most interesting one. So let's say you just want to buy this course and uh, learn how to use um, Divi and how to design websites. Well, if you go to uh, this URL, it's uh, funnels to income.com forward slash web design formula. In fact, you don't need to memorize this because I'll add the link in the video description below. You can see here, this is a brand new course. It's going to cost 497 of course, without the discount. But if you use the coupon code early 70 on checkout, you are going to get a discount of 70% and you get to save $347 on this course. It's a complete course and this will give you full access to the course. As you can see down here, you have two days to go. Once this offer goes, that's it. It's done. I'll never... Um, sell this course at a 70% discount ever again. This course is going to be uh, the least I'm going to, I mean, the, um, the next discount I'll probably have is on uh, Black Friday and it's going to be a 50% off. So this is the best value you can get from this. And not only that, uh, if you, if I decide, okay, you know what, with time, uh, we, uh, we decide to create the web design formula version two, guess what? Because you've bought this one, you're going to get full access to version two. So this is a great investment. And with this knowledge you're going to get from this course, you're, you, I mean, you can design your own website. So if you have a small business, you can design your own website for your company. Or if you want to make money designing websites, these skills are valuable. It's going to teach you how to design websites in a professional way, in a structured way using my framework. So head over to the link which I'll add in the video description below, use the coupon code early70 and this will save you 347, which means you're going to get the course for 149. And you know what? Um, the way I work is once you buy my course, it doesn't mean that you don't get to hear from me. Uh, I'll just sell you the course and that's it. It's bye bye. No. Uh, once I uh, once you purchase this course, you're going to be part of a community. I'm actually putting together a Facebook group where you can meet with other designers share ideas. So that's a private Facebook group that you'll also be uh, invited to. So go for this offer. Uh, you won't regret it. I've put so much time into this course. It's massive. It has a lot of information and I will be adding even more information on to this course. All right, guys, I thought I'll share with you this information. So yes, if you want to take me up on this offer, head over to that link and uh, wish you all the best. Thank you.